All right, first graders, we just got finished making our heart patterns together, and now we're ready to trace and start to add color to our final project. So with your big white piece of paper, we are going to fold it in half one time, like a big book, and then I'm going to fold it in half again, and this time it looks more like a birthday card. So two folds today, making those creases really nice. And now I'm going to open it up. Two folds gives me four different parts of my paper. I'm going to take my heart tracer and I'm going to trace it inside each rectangle of my paper. So that means I'm going to trace it four times and I'm going to trace it with a Sharpie marker. No pencil today. Oh, my marker is icky. If you get an icky marker, bring it back up to Miss Cleary's table. And you can get a new one. So I'm going to line that back up. And I'm going to trace... Oh, again! My goodness! Two icky markers in a row. Hopefully this one's nice. Yay! So I'm tracing. And I had to start three times. I got some oopses and some icky things happening. That's okay, because our artist we looked at today, he actually scribbles in some of his work. So I'm going to add some scribble lines around my heart. Is that silly or what? So this one's just kind of some really straight line scribbles. And I'm doing this all over the outline of my heart. And guess what? This marker is icky again. So I'm going to grab another one. Maybe I will use all the icky markers and they'll be nice for you. So I've got a scribbly heart. I'm going to outline the heart in this box as well. Ooh, that's a nice marker. Tracing it really great. I'm going to make this heart look a little different. Maybe this heart's going to have some curly Q lines inside of it. If you go outside the lines today, that's okay. If you are tracing a heart today and you, oh no, do some really oopses, no biggie. Our artist today used a lot of different kinds of lines. So I want you to try to use a lot of different kinds of lines. Look at that. I'm just going to cover it up with some more squiggles. If you look at some of my examples... I've got crisscross scribbles, I've got wavy ones, I've got loopy ones. Ooh, look at these. I actually looped all over my heart. And I did some tornado type lines. So have fun and make each heart look different. When you have four hearts in black marker, you're ready to add color. So this is a new way we're going to add a color. We're going to use markers. You can color them however you would like. adding different colors, overlapping them, but you want to fill the whole heart shape and the background with marker. Do you notice how I'm not coloring my greatest? I'm not even holding this marker the best way. I am just trying to get color inside and around my heart. So I'm going to actually use some different colors on the outside part. I'm going to add maybe some green on the outside. This marker is kind of icky. If you get icky dry markers, they can go in that white bin by the door. There's a little yellow note that says markers that don't work. Let's see if I can find another green. So you get the idea. I'm trying to fill this all up with color. When I have one box filled with color, I am going to paint it with water. Silly, right? What happens is when you add water to the marker, and you can see that I'm kind of rubbing it a lot, it turns into paint. It's filling in all those white spots I missed. Isn't that cool? And the purple and the pink are rubbing together. Oh, that looks awesome. I'm going to rinse my brush because I'm going to move to this color green. And if my brush has red or purple or pink in it, it's going to get icky looking. Look at that. 
I didn't even color the whole background and I have enough marker on there to spread it all around. Huh, that's something new. I didn't know that would work. You want to be careful in the painting part though. It's okay if some of your colors go together, but if I would rub all over this heart, it would turn an ucky brown. So today, you've got a lot of work to do. You want to try to add color to every heart on your paper, and you don't want to see any white. So I'm going to finish this one up. When I'm finished, it's going to go in the drying rack. And there we have our Jim Dine inspired Valentine project.